old covenant you have to be very careful teaching the old covenant you should not pick up every verse fear of the lord revel <laughs> proverbs 17 pre fear of the lord is the beginning of the wisdom and they they post it in the school i went to a christian school it was there prominently fear of the lord is the beginning of wisdom it sounds so good but in the new testament in the new covenant do you fear love fear god or do you love god simple if you love me you follow my commandments john 14 15 and what is the first commandment mark 12 30 love your lord with all your heart all your strength all your soul and whatever all that is loving loving the lord is the primary commandment fear no no if you love him will you want to go away from him no no brother no if you really love jesus you are very careful because you don't want to be on the wrong side of jesus you don't want to hurt jesus you don't want to hurt jesus when you when we commit sin he cries he doesn't judge you brother he doesn't judge he cries he cries this is the new testament god in the old testament he says hey moses you alone should come anybody coming near by the hill i will kill nobody should come only you and then he says go bring aaron moses and aaron only two of you should come others better be careful don't come into the territory this is the old testament god and we want the old testament god the new testament god same god changed he says i love you all he showed it on the cross and he says please love me don't fear me love me but the fear of the lord is the beginning of the wisdom that they teach and when we fear the lord when we teach the children to fear the lord what happens there is no relationship between jesus and you there is no relationship fear fear will produce a relationship tell me now you are husband and wife if you fear him will that will that, will that be a good relationship tell me sister simple simple when you love the lord with all your heart all your strength all your soul you know what what you immediately do read the gospels i will do what my boss has said what my father has said and he starts speaking to you he starts speaking sometimes audible voice and then regularly from inside he speaks and you don't want to go away you don't want to go away you know, and when i am giving some counseling the holy spirit immediately says son enough enough not beyond that immediately i tell that person holy spirit says i should not talk beyond this this is it is this that one one threshold if it crosses it goes into sin territory he is very careful he is very careful he teaches he teaches so i am very careful but everything will be so casual everything will be so casual because he is the one who protects he is the one protects i love him i love him the in the depth from the in the not only in the depth every part of the body i will follow only jesus death ho oh, no problem physical death is no problem there was a threat people were there <laughs> there there was a lati charge and i was enjoying i came out of the car enjoying police force also went against me and i i was videographing the whole thing that was a lati charge people were hurt and their only only agenda was don't allow him to speak in the house so no fear no fear death is welcome you start you start hating your life in place of jesus that means your life this physical life becomes safety our physical life becomes secondary what do you want to do you want to please jesus that's your love that's your you don't fear him he doesn't punish he doesn't punish john 834 says the one who commits sin is a slave of sin sin we surrender we surrender and then the fellow hits us left right center he doesn't punish he doesn't judge us he is so loving so loving you start crying many times because the love he shows is amazing so in the new testament in the new covenant you love the lord in the old covenant you fear the lord you want verses i will show you he says don't don't ever come near by don't ever come near by if you come i'll kill anybody touching the hill i'll kill okay 
Right, brother? Chapter 10, verse 28. Matthew chapter 10, verses 28, please. And says, uh, and fear not them which kill the body, but are not able to kill the soul, but yeah. rather yeah, yeah, yeah. fear in, him. In Luke, uh, Luke 14 also it is there, yes. But fear him. Fear him. Which is able to destroy both yes. soul and yes. body in hell. Yes. Yes. The same God has said, love the Lord. Yeah, but. Yeah, fear. fear. The love, love, we keep it. Love is equal to automatic. Where is the pen? Love automatically results in what's that? Divine fear. Love is equal to fear. Yeah, it will become that. automatically. Yep. You start fearing. Oh, I don't want to go away from yep. him because he loves me so much. He loves me so much. Even small things he takes take care. So you don't want to be on the wrong side. Yep. You don't want to be on the wrong side. So every move you are careful. But casually, because he is there, Holy Spirit is there, he guides. Casually you are doing it, but you are complying his commandments left, right, center, because you don't want to offend him. Yep. Offend him. Yeah, in Luke, in Luke 12, 4 also he says that. Okay, fear him who causes death and also cast our body, cast our soul into fire. Fear him. Here the fear is called love. We need to love. We have to follow his commandment. Fear means here we have to follow his commandment. That is it. That choice is left to us. Yes, brother. Yes. Deuteronomy. I uh, said fear, love the Lord with all. Yeah, it is that. Yes. 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 And it is a reaffirming. Yes. Um, in it's, the New Testament. It's reaffirmed. But there, the fear is uh, is to be accompanied by, the love is to be accompanied by fear. Not in the New Testament. Not in the New Covenant. He says, in, uh, in, in uh, Exodus 20, 24. In Exodus 20, 24. And Exodus 24, 2. He says, only, only Moses and Aaron should come. Uh, and in 21, he says, they should not cross the limit. They will die. They will die. So, there the love is accompanied by fear. And he says, they will fear. When you do this, they will fear. Deuteronomy 21, 21. Then all the men of the city shall stone him to death with stones. So, you shall put away the evil from among you. And all the Israel shall hear and fear. Shall hear and fear. So, fear. Though he says, love me. But then he has given everything. Eye for eye. Eye for eye. A murderer should be killed. There was no grace. So, fear. People feared him. But he removed it. He came down, gave his life on the cross, removed fear. The cross is the highest point of love. Highest point of love. That much he has loved, so he is not judging us. He is not judging us. Somebody is getting diseases, it is of his own volition. Like he walks out. He walks out, gets hurt, and God, Jesus, the Holy Spirit wants, please don't do that, please don't do that, you are stepping out of my protection, please don't do that. He always gives two warnings. Two warnings, Old Testament and New Testament. First Kings 11 verses 9, First Kings 11 verses 9, God came down and warned Solomon, King Solomon, please don't do idol worship, but Solomon rejected. And in verse 11, he gave his kingdom to his servant. Yeah, first Kings 11, 11, 11, 11. Uh, no, okay, 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 11, 9, come back, come down. He says, so the Lord became angry with Solomon because of his heart and turned from the Lord of God. But, okay, <laughs> what are you, what are, okay, go for, uh, appear to him. Yeah, uh, appear to me twice. Who had appeared to him twice. He appeared in person twice. He always gives two warnings. But here, every time, you immediately submit, then it is forgiven. Then again you get two chances. I don't say you commit sin. You commit sin. Your Lord God is not there to judge you. 
Jesus doesn't judge you. He has said very clearly, I have not come to the world to, to judge. He has not come to judge. So he doesn't judge. He just wants, please, don't go. Come, come, come to me. Repent and come. Do a repentance prayer. Come, come, come. That is it. That is what he says. And one repentance prayer, everything is washed. Hey, you are my daughter. You are my son. Over and out. Get out, devil. This is my child. I paid the price for this child on the cross. Out. That's it. So this is the God we have now. We should fear him through love. Through love. You clear, brother? Are you clear, brother? Are you clear, brother? So, yes. So we break for lunch.